Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am just actually got home from work and I'm filming this video in between leaving to go to a baseball tournament this weekend in Utah. So I wanted to share my 4th of July decorations with you because it's coming up on that time and before it was too late, I wanted to make sure to get this video filmed. 4th of July is my favorite holiday. Um, and so I don't go crazy, but I do like to decorate. So I hope you'll join me in watching this video and let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, I wanna start in the entryway here and I've got just a few new pieces for this season. I didn't go crazy, but when I saw this, you know me and my love for these. Um, I had to have it. This is from my, my mind's eye. I'll link it below. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add this to my um, hydrangeas here. Like that, how cute. And then I have a ribbon that I'm just gonna tie around that black urn. Just like that. I love adding ribbons. If you've been here, you know this. I think that it's an inexpensive way to add for holidays. Um, it just changes the whole space, I feel like, because now I have red white and then i have blue in my um ottoman and blanket here so it kind of all ties in perfectly that's what i like i'm not going for like super cheesy fourth of july i'm going for lived in just like casual organic i guess you could say um fourth i had this frame that had a picture of my kids in it but what i've done is i've taken off one of the flags for um that I used for the 4th of July, and I'm just going to um, tape it in here, like, like that. But I think I want it to look like, yeah, no, I think that's right. Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna tape, like this is just a dollar store flag. Again, super inexpensive, but a fun way to switch something up without spending a lot of money which is always a good idea, right? This frame came from Target. Um, it's so cute, but there you go. Just how simple is that? All I'm gonna do is layer my frame with my mirror like that. And then I have this thing, I don't know, I, I've had it for several years. It's just a little 4th of July flower arrangement, but what I did this year is I had these um, felt, well, I don't know if they're, if they're felt, I don't know what exactly they are, but I got them at Walmart and they came in a pack of six, so you got two blues, two whites, and two reds, and I love adding these to little spaces. Again, you'll see I've done it another place in my house, but um, I'm just going to pop this right next to that, and we're keeping it really simple over here. Okay, I love changing this little spot up for all the holidays as well. And I'm going to start by just hanging this really cute flag tea towel from one of the hooks. This is old from Hearth and Hand, but they always come out with new ones every year, so you can probably find them. But I love the plaid on that one. And then you've seen this before if you've watched any of my videos. This is something I use mostly for Christmas, but like it's the perfect thing for the 4th of July, and I love that. It pairs well with this blue towel. And all I'm gonna do is stick a little messy bunch of ranunculus in this. Just kind of so there. No like rhyme or reason to it. It doesn't have to be super full. I kind of like it that it's not. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. And that is 4th of July to me. Okay. On my table here, I'm going to just put a tablecloth that I bought and this wooden bowl. I don't have anything to put in the bowl, but I'm thinking I might just go buy some fake fruit or something. 
um, and put in here. I think that's cute. I don't know, you could put a bunch of different things. Um, I just don't have anything right now, but it's okay because I love the simplicity of this. This um, table runner just came from Hobby Lobby this year, and this is old from Target, but um, lots of things you've already seen in my videos I'm trying to like reuse and repurpose. I feel like that's like been my MO this whole year. Well, end of last year going into this year, I just want to use what I have, and I'm not going to lie to you. I have been to Target. Hobby Lobby, like all of the like places we buy home decor, Walmart, and I'm just not impressed. Am I the only one? I went um, online because the Studio McGee stuff came out recently for fall, and I usually go crazy and love it. I didn't love one thing. So it, maybe it's just me, maybe it's just a season of life I'm in, but um, I'm sticking to with what I know and what I love, and that's just already what's in my tubs in the basement. So saves me money and it actually makes me feel really good to reuse. I know that sounds kind of weird, but like I'm not wasting things and I'm just using what I have. So anyway, let's move on to the kitchen. All right, I wanna like spruce up this little area with some 4th of July. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a ribbon. This is just a blue and white uh, stripe, or excuse me, it's blue and white, but it has stars on it and I'm just gonna tie it. Sometimes I tie a bow and sometimes I don't, but I am gonna tie a bow on this one. Like I said, I just love, like you could also put like a tea towel coming out of it to just add a little bit of festivity, but what I am gonna do is I also bought these spoons from my mind's eye to go with a bowl that I also bought, but well, I'm not using the bowl and these. I'm just gonna plop these in like that and it just adds a little bit of festivity without going crazy. And then on the side here, I have this little white um, jar. I guess it's a jar, I don't know what it is. But um, if you were here last year, I also did the same thing, but I have these blue berries and again, um, without being too cheesy, I'm doing the, the red, white, and blue just in kind of a different way, um, giving that feel for um, 4th of July, but not cheesy. And the stars are glittery and cute. So I'm just going to leave that like that and call that done. dress up this little spot I'm still gonna keep this plant because I still love it for summer I love the scallop on there but another thing that I got from the my mind's eye website is this of course it's like a tray you can use for food and stuff but I thought it would be perfect to layer with my cutting board here you know that I love to do that and you know you've seen me do it with other cutting boards like for Christmas I have a um, Christmas tree one and for Halloween I have a jack-o-lantern so I have different things that I like to layer with the cutting board I just love the look of that I think it's so cute and I'm just gonna like not go crazy here I'm just gonna have that and then I also picked up some of these reusable straws and of course these are for 4th of July but I just want to I'm just gonna put those right there and just kind of add to the little corner I mean there's lots of other things that I could put a little some stars in this but I don't want to go crazy I'm just gonna keep that pretty simple because we also have these um, open shelves right above that you know we love to decorate for the season so let's do that next all right so we're starting with the bottom shelf here I have put my scalloped cutting board that used to be where I put that star. I put that up there because I want to have another little collage. And I have this little star. I've used it for, I think this might be my third year, but I think it's so cute. I tied a little ribbon and I used those blueberries again with the white. So we have the red, white, and blue and the star. And I just really love the way that those look layered. In the back corner there, I had a stack of plates that were spring colored on a cake stand. So like this, but there was different different um, 
more plates and I took out the pink and the green and I'm just gonna use the blue and white and the white cake stand because I have these red and white striped bowls. I've used them for Christmas. I'm using, now I'm using them for the 4th of July. I actually think I use them for Valentine's Day as well. And I'm just gonna put that in the corner there again. So cute, red, white, and blue. And then I have this bowl full of cherries. Um, these cherries came from Hobby Lobby and they're faux, but isn't that cute? Just to like add a little pop right there. I'm just gonna like set it right there like that. And then on this side, um, I kind of steer clear of like signs that have words on them, but I do allow for them in holiday decor. So I have this Let Freedom Ring one. It's adorable. It's very like just navy and white. And I'm going to put that right up there. And then I have this really darling firecracker. Um, I got it from Michael's a few years ago. And I'm going to put it right next to it. And then um, I have one of these metal stars. Do you guys still have metal stars? These used to be all the rage back in the day. And I've kept some. Um, but I've also gotten rid of the bigger ones. But look at how cute that is. Just a little pop of 4th of July right there. And I already, um, let me move my camera up a little bit. Sorry, this is not the best angle, but this is terrible angle to film at. So I still have my um, print up there. I used my other red and white gingham bucket up there with some green and white um, florals. And then I have that little number four or like the 4th of July, and then I just actually kept that part up there the same. So I think it's absolutely darling. The last thing I'm going to do in the kitchen is I'm going to add this little white and red and it has blue on the bottom here, striped um, towel to my KitchenAid just to add a little pop of color. Um, I need to go grocery shopping because my fruit bowl is empty, but um, I think that looks cute. All right, I use this plant right here. I just, I don't know. It's just there. I like it. Um, and I have three more of these um, little felt picks that I'm going to add just to the plant, just to give it a little, a little pizzazz, you know, like that. Just, just something not crazy, but fun. My plant, I had to replant, I, excuse me, I repotted my plant and it is just doing so much better. I've had this for four years. This is the only plant that I've kept alive. I, a few years ago, I went on a spree and I bought a bunch of real flower or real plants and this is the only one standing and this thing has been through the ringer. It used to be in my office and I'd go months without watering it and I'd water it and it would perk right back up. So um, it didn't grow a lot, but now she's, I re, I got her a new pot and I repotted her and now I'm taking much more or much better care of her and she's thriving. So, um, I don't know, what shall we name her? She probably needs a name. Right. Last but not least, I want to do my little mantle here. I shared this absolutely darling bunting banner. It's little bows that I tied together. It's my favorite thing ever. I shared it in my last video. Um, if you want to go back and see how I did it, it's super easy, but um, isn't it darling? I just like love the femininity, femininity of a bow. I'm wearing bows in my hair. We're wearing bows on our clothes. We're putting bows in our house. Like, have you seen that trend where they have like a, a front door wreath and then they have this like massive bow on there? I love that. Um, I think maybe I should recreate that in somehow, some way. Hmm, we'll have to see. 
anyway, I just want to add a few things to the mantle. I have this um, stool here that my husband made for me, and I'm just gonna keep it super simple and put one of these, um, this little pot with some greenery in it, and I'm just gonna pop a flag in there. Nothing crazy, just, just cute like that. And I love, I love this tin. It's like universal, we can use it any season. And I love it for spring and summer, with, especially with some real flowers in there. Um, I just think it's adorable. Next is I took this basket off of my buffet. I kind of just swapped what was here with my buffet over there and the mantle. The reason I did that was because I just, this screams summer to me, this basket with the scallop and the cosmos. And I just tied one of these red ribbons on there. I think I did that last year. Maybe it was a different color ribbon, but um, I just think like that's summer, right? And so I, I'm gonna leave all my 4th of July stuff up probably for the whole month of July into August. Um, I'm not one to decorate. I love fall too, but I don't decorate until like September. So I'm probably gonna leave this up for a while. But the last thing that I bought from my mind's eye was another one of these. This one said, Home of the Brave. You guys, these are darling. And they, it seems to be like coming out with one or two per season. And I don't know. They're darling. So I'm just gonna add this into the basket. And that's all we're gonna do on the mantle. Actually, you know what? Hold on, when I take that back, I am gonna add my star that I have. I forgot about this, but I was thinking, what did I put over there last year? This is what I put, and I still love it. Um, you could make this yourself so easily. I did buy it at a um, craft fair, and I added the little cute sprigs to it. But anyway, I'm just gonna add this right here, kind of like that. I don't really like having that camera right there, but is what it is, right? Anyway, I think that's it. Oh no, we got one more space. I've already decorated it, but I haven't showed you. Um, there's two places in my kitchen that just, when I film, <laughs> The eye angle is so unflattering. So I want to show you what I did above my fire or my stove. Okay, so I kept it pretty simple. I have a felt garland here. I have made this one myself, but you can buy these anywhere online. I've had it for a million years. I actually have two different ones. I have one that has these bigger balls, and then I have one that has a smaller ball. And then this American side, and then I just added that star into that wreath, and we kept it pretty simple. Over. Okay, so my front door needs a little 4th of July. I made this last year in my decorating video if you want to see how I did it. Um, I'm going to use it again this year and I'm just actually going to tie it on because I would have to like take this off. Anyway, I'm probably going to take this off after the 4th of July just because I don't like these to get like in the wind and stuff. So anyway, I'm just going to tie this on to what it's already hanging from and keep it pretty simple. But if you guys cannot, like this is how far behind I am on life. My front porch pots, which you know is my favorite thing, like my decorating my porch is like my favorite thing, um, and flowers and all of that. I haven't even done that yet. But let me take you off the camera and I'm gonna take you outside. I'm gonna show you that my spring flowers that I planted in April, I wanna show you how good they're doing. We're gonna roll with that for now and we'll see if I get to, I get to any more flowers or not. We'll see, but let me show you. Okay, so these are the flowers I potted up in the springtime. They're doing like so good. So we're gonna just keep that for the for looking like that. My my um, hydrangeas are finally coming back so strong. I was a little nervous because I had to cut them all the way back. Anyway, anyway, this is the other one that I have. Just I think those are called like 
pansies. I don't know. They're doing great. I don't know if they'll last because I don't think that they can tolerate the heat. But I think today is June 20th and we had a freeze this week. So I'm not sure we're going to get very much warmer. Anyway, I did add a cute little flag. I added my American flag. I did recently buy these because I obviously want to plant something in them, but I haven't. But here's what I'm talking about. My beautiful front door usually has those cute topi topiaries in them. I haven't even done that. I could do that though. That's pretty easy. But I really wanted to spray paint these black again because they, they need a little love. They're, as you can see, they're a little, they're a little um, bleached out a little bit. But anyway, look at how cute that is on my door. I think it's darling. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the status of my front porch. So for my island, I have an idea, but I, I need to go to the store and I haven't done that yet. So let me just tell you my idea. I bought this bowl from my mind's eye and I think it's so cute like, with those spoons. It's so cute. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get a potted flower um, from the, the grocery store and just plop it in there. And then this can like, be like the base. And then when I'm ready to use it, I will wash it out and use it. But I'm still loving this basket on my island. Normally I have fresh flowers like in a vase inside of this and it's just so cute Like who doesn't love a scallop anyway? I do and I just love it So I just keep it here and my island is not like massive and my kids only eat at the island And so I can't I love to have a beautiful island like centerpiece, but it gets moved and then things get broken and It's called simplicity here you know, just living in the season that you're in and decorating as such. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I now I think that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I try to post a video every single Sunday. Um, it's getting a little bit harder <laughs> to do that um, just because of the crazy busy sports schedule that we're doing. We're doing football camps. We're doing baseball tournaments and um which is busy so i do my best so i hope you'll stick around and join me for those and i think that's it so have a good day a good sunday because you're watching this on sunday and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye